um, putting on this game. Like it's it was really really <laughs> fun and like a good time. I am here with Rayanne, uh, Nicole, and Karen, who is filling in from Brazil uh, on Extra Whip, where we will dish the dirt. Now on Big Brother Cheesecake 7, Chocolate Heaven. I'm Andrew Shevsik Moonves. Welcome to Big Brother Cheesecake 7 Chocolate Heaven. It's day 74 inside the Big Brother Cheesecake house, and this week Brooke is the head of household. She nominated Javier and Jenna for eviction, but Owen won the Golden Power Veto in the Big Brother Bishop's Golden Power Veto competition and chose not to use it, which means tomorrow either Javier or Jenna will be evicted, finishing in fifth place, and will join uh, Callum, Bridget, Kennedy, and Rayanne as the fifth juror. Who will it be? You'll find out tomorrow. But first, uh, Rayanne, thank you so much for joining us. Hey. Uh, oh, oh and, and sorry, before I get to... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, my sis as well. Yay! Please introduce my sis. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I just want to quickly thank Karen for filling in for Brazil. She is uh, also trying to break a Guinness World Record this week. She's trying to have sex with her... What's his name again? The, what's the thank you. Jacob, uh, in the most number of states possible in a 24 hour span. So they're basically RVing around the country to try and break that record. Uh, yeah, I told them to go Back to New to England them. because they're all close in New England, right? You can get a lot of states done in like one day. So um, it's, true. it's true. When I lived yeah. in Massachusetts, I would just hit three in like half an hour. Yeah, logic. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so Rayanne, we love you. We're so sad to see you evicted. Um, nobody's ever happy to see Rayanne evicted like ever that's just the law uh, yeah it's um, a heartbreaking experience <laughs> for us all so tell us what you think went wrong um I think I struggled with activity at the beginning of the game I personally think um I overcommitted which like I don't regret because like I kind of like won <laughs> two of the games I like were playing but um, I think with this game specifically, I think because it was um, text-based, um, but also it was like, I think I had three weeks of safety um, right when I felt like I was starting to like really like get a hold of my position within the game. Um, so do you, think the, do you think the triple fast forward hurt you or helped you? I think it hurt me because then I focused on a different game. <laughs> which like I don't regret I won but I spent that time being all, like I was safe but like this game was obviously like it's for a long period of time and I think the connections that you make is really important especially the social connections you make because if you're playing a game with like for like what 88 days a long time you want to surround yourself with people that like you at least know has your back and if I'm not there from the get-go or like mid-game being like I'm here for you I'm here for you I'm here for you and then I'm not like gonna have longevity within it. So I think that's the where I went wrong. Were you surprised to hear that there was a five alive? I named them five person alliance when you were voted out of the other. I, I'm I'm not that surprised by that, honestly. <laughs> I, I, was a um, I don't think it really benefited a lot of them right now, really at all. But like we can get into it. Like this, like what I said oh, though. Like when when did that start? The Five Alive Alliance? right before Kilby was evicted. That makes sense to me, because I think the size. It's we like we really fucked up in that one vote. Um, because I think if 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 I don't know, do they? They don't know this probably. I don't know if like um. um so and, you don't know this, but I because I kicked you out of the group chat shortly after you were evicted. But Owen in his goodbye said to you it's a i'm glad you voted correctly this week and not the double eviction week okay so i don't know who told him but i definitely didn't but like like i i don't it's like i didn't know i didn't vote correctly but like for the first that's five weeks i think i would have caught my vote incorrect vote if i think if i wasn't in the three weeks of safety 
Mm-hmm. And I think that's why I think it really hindered me. Because if, if we, um, if I voted correctly, I think it would, like, I still would be there. <laughs> I feel like in, some, in retrospect, I guess we couldn't win a competition, though. So, <laughs> <laughs> so maybe not, because no one from my side could win anything. I thought you were going to win Monopoly. That. While I was playing it, I thought. Whoa, I think whoa. if they didn't, if they didn't have like that boost, that kind of would have because they were really landing on me a shit ton. There were three times in a row where they hit the chance in between Kentucky and Indiana, and if they didn't hit the chance, if they were on Kentucky or Indiana, you probably might have won. Um, but people oh, kept yeah. dying on Michael's properties, and so Michael kept accumulating more and more, which is what yeah. helped them win. All right. Um, yeah, so the vote, the incorrect vote thing, it really has not had a major impact in past seasons. I mean, Stephen voted, in, whether it was on purpose or not, he voted incorrectly week two. Um, it did, however, said no impact. This season, it had an enormous impact because... Oh, it deeply changed it. I will, I will give you Kilby and uh, who, Bridget. No, Kennedy. Who is the third person? Bridget. Bridget. But Bridget voted Kennedy correctly. Vote. Bridget voted Bridget, correctly. Oh, um, Kennedy as well. Kennedy. It was the four of you, really. Yeah. Um, you were yeah. worked really, really hard to get the vote. So it was three, three, two, with Cly staying with two, which would have infuriated an, an enormous number of people. It would have been hilarious to watch, but it would have pissed people off. Oh, it would have been such a move. Because <laughs> well, I told her that she was evicted like a couple of days ago. And she's like, how did it happen? And I go, <laughs> two people what? voted wrong. And she, when she found out, she was just dying of laughter that, that that's how she gets voted out basically by default because her whole life is default. That's her word. She, she so. didn't even know she was voted out until now. I told her like a week ago. An icon, honestly. That's why we needed her though. Cause then we could just vote her out the next week. Mm-hmm. What I think was the mindset. Would you have actually voted her out the next week? Probably I really, not. I thought she was going to go till if, if, like, the end. I think um, I would have gone to Wonka, so I would have um, probably nominated someone that we would have taken out. Like, the numbers just would have been completely different, I think, if we yeah. didn't fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, like, I don't know, because Callum was, like, I was ever really with Callum. Callum was ever really with me. Like, there's a lot of, like, other variables that went into it. I just think that, like, maybe who we were targeting would be different. Like, I maybe would have put up Jenna, and that yeah. could have been a whole different situation. Definitely would have been. A couple of the house guests who are currently in the game have kind of said in DR, and I can't really speculate too much, have said, I wonder if the four of them, because you were all kind of on the same side, are being chummy chummy and trying to figure out who deserves to win. But from what I've seen in the jury chat, you all four have different opinions. The four of you who are Yeah, correct. we all play different games. Like I think that's probably to our own downfall. But like I was um like for those don't who don't know, um like like Bridget's one of my like my best work friends. I met her in Endur and we we went through um we were in a tribe. We can't win competitions. So we were in a tribe that always went to tribal. And like, I think we went to the most tribals that season. Um, she got fifth, I got third. Um, the, our, the people that we were aligned with got um, second and one. So like, we were like, um, we just became really close. Um, I mean, that's why I understand, like I understand the Five Alive Alliance and like why they would want to stick together. Cause I've like been in the position and it didn't work out for me. But I've also like, <laughs> <laughs> I think I think some people really should have picked me up because I personally don't think I had a really a big chance. But we all have different opinions because we just all have like different experiences within the game. Like um, like I had that group with like Brooke and Owen, and like, especially with Brooke, that carried me for like like love Brooke for that because that really carried me through the time where I really did not have the strongest connections. And at least for a time in the game, people thought they could like pick me up and like use me as their vote because of that group <laughs> so because, so like that's, oh be, sorry oh. can i ask a question yeah of course um, so yeah. Ryan, like i was i was mentioning to nicole earlier today that that first week and you being in that alliance or that whole alliance sort of set up it seemed like the rest of the game because that that six except for ronnie is was basically the final six to swap jenna right um so I wanted to know your perspective since you were sort of with them from week one, 
what is it about this final five, including Jenna, that got them to the end of the game? Besides the, the mess up, I mean, uh, I think but, the mess but up. What about is, them has gotten them this far? Oh, I think it's just loyalty with in mm-hmm. each other. Um, I think um, with ever how whenever they figured out what the mess up was, I think it probably united them even more. Um, I think because um, Owen and Jenna know each other, obviously, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. So um, it's like I think it's like known. Um, so I think that has helped because they have been really strong. Owen has really strong connections with Brooke. Um, I feel like Brooke and Michael are really connected from what I've heard around the house. Um, I know that Brooke didn't want to target Jenna. Um, like, I think I think they all this were really strong together, even like before the five even became a thing. If anything, that just like united them. And where does Javier um, fall in this? Um, uh, Javier is obviously within the group, right? Um, I feel like uh, part of me feels like I don't know. Like, if Javier didn't have the survivor around, I feel like Javier might have like kept me around. Like, you know what I mean? Because I really didn't think it benefited him for me to leave because he was the person I was. If any, I wasn't talking to a lot of people, but I was, just, <laughs> I was still talking to Javi. But I don't know. For like Javi, personally, always felt like. I never understood why he was doing what he was doing because I felt like what he was doing was benefiting him the least. Well, at least with Brooke um, or Jenna, like Jenna has a connection with Owen. I think Brooke has a sass experience where she's just hungry to go far. So like, I think that might be clouding her judgment. Um, with Javier, I never really understood what he was doing. That's like probably why I might feel like, oh, he might have kept, but he probably wouldn't have. And honestly, um, I think I probably was just dead no matter what. It was it was really funny on my way out. Like legitimately, people were like, "Oh, hope we play together." together. Like this before Monopoly was over. So I was like, "Oh, I'm so dead." Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh Javier didn't God. say that, but like, I was like, it was I was getting that vibe. I think so Javier. Then, just, oh, sorry. Ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say it sounds like if you're confused by Javier, then he probably has the most explaining to do. To, for you if he gets um to I, I mean there's a few people like obviously i wrote it incorrectly i would like to hear from owen about that because i from my opinion owen's here by a mistake um i feel like he has a bit more explaining to do than like someone let's say like michael or like even brooke like i i feel like javi though was just like always just like nice so i feel like that also just like benefits him a tiny bit but I, I, I feel I do feel like um, Javi has a lot of explaining to do because like everyone else seems so much tighter, like from the outside of someone who was like, barely talking to people. It always felt like those four were so united. So that's why I never really understood why Javi was doing what he was doing. So yeah. Owen's big crutch, and which is arguably helping him because everybody's been talking about Owen. Owen is sort of the Karen of the season in terms of everybody comes into extra whip and then either praises Owen or says, you got to get rid of Owen. And his big cr- crutch, if he makes it to the final two, is going to be somebody, likely you, or is going to ask him, why should I vote for you to win the game when you were technically evicted, but on a rural blob, you, you kind of got through kind of like, it's kind of similar to when somebody who's voted out comes back in through a battle back, like Chris Underwood, for instance. And ends up, you know, at the end, that that's going to be his big crutch. Because I would agree, if you compare Owen and Michael, there's, you know, Owen has. I think that only benefits Michael, though. Like, legitimately, that's the only person it would benefit. I, like, I'm really surprised that people aren't taking the shot. When I saw the nominations, let's be real. And I've, like, I said this in my, can we get into it? Yes, yes. I said this into my DR. And I, like, someone, like, I, Brooke. I'm going to say this with full love because you are so the reason why I made it as far as I did. I feel like Brooke sometimes actively hinders her game. We like, let's like, during the, during the time when like we wanted to take someone off, we just like Brooke, all Brooke had to do was tell like Bridget, maybe, and we would have taken her off. <laughs> it's like, it's just, or it's like when Brooke was making these nominations, I think like, for her to win and like i know that she's got a lot of negativity she's someone who i am personally kind of rooting for just because of like 
she was, was a huge reason why I made it far. Um, I felt like her nominations, why not bring Jenna or Javi who have gotten negative critiques throughout the season versus the people who have gotten positive um, feedback throughout. Um, because I understand you, maybe you're trying to use a shield, but it's final five. And these two men have been winning every single competition pretty much. And it yeah. feels like it, you should at least be trying to get one of them out or like at least splitting up. I understand like putting up Owen, I mean, Jenna, but like you, I feel like you should at least be trying to split up Jenna. And maybe I'm wrong with like how I read the game, but like I felt like Hoppy is kind of on his way out from how I saw the game. I was going to ask you about the weakest link on that in that five would have been. So you think the weakest link is probably Hoppy there? I would think so. I know um depends. Like the reason why I personally didn't really talk to Jenna is because she did a lot of voice messages. Yeah. <laughs> and like that's literally the only reason. <laughs> because um, reason why you did or didn't? Didn't. Because okay. I think she was really cool and would have really gotten along. I just didn't like want to listen to like that's what a lot of people keep saying. <laughs> I think the voice messages did hurt her social game i like, if like if any oh life. then maybe i'm wrong and that she might be on her way out i just feel like if owen would have used the veto on her if um he felt like she was in danger that's what i thought i th- i thought it would be like really like rad if he used it on uh, jenna michael went up because he had to go up and then they voted out michael like i feel like that is like a bigger move but i might be misunderstanding okay let's talk about people are let's talk about that because the votes are locked at the time that this airs so the votes can't change who is surprised that owen did not at final five use the veto on jenna i'm pretty surprised i feel like why wouldn't you it's like your known duo right and you're gonna win against her and there's like <laughs> there's two weeks not, not even two weeks left there's like 12 11 days that's like you not using the veto on steven at final five that would have just been weird yeah well and so back to what rayanne said about brooke um uh, brooke told me during the game and i think she probably would maintain it now is that she was going to take like she would keep if she was hoh she would have kept me around so i feel like maybe is this a repeat of last year it's like keeping steven and karen in the game owen and owen and michael is this basically happening again like is does she have some sort of loyalty to owen that we don't know about or like that we we couldn't know about unless she told i thought like maybe a back door like but like at final five with a back it doesn't make any sense but maybe brooke has um you know didn't have that same read you know just has a different read or maybe it's about who she's putting maybe she has who she thinks is going to leave she thinks she has their vote if she gets to the end so maybe she's going for guaranteed maybe I just feel like um, this final five, um, I guess I'm not in the majority. And I think that's something that I always had to keep in mind because I feel like when you're in the majority, sometimes how you feel about people can be like totally different. Like I actively knew I wasn't in the majority throughout the game (laughs) because of how people were speaking to me. Um, So like people might just be... (laughs) With the knowledge that they knew about that, like I kinda understand that with Owen, but I still feel like that's like such a dumb read. Um so I I don't want to say dumb. I'm sorry. I love you, Brooke. <laughs> I'm a Brooke supporter. <laughs> but so like, I, 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 yeah, sorry, you say okay. stuff. I'm drunk rambling. <laughs> so uh yeah. <sighs> So I actually thought, so I didn't know about Five Alive. So I actually thought, and I kind of feel dumb now, like normally you would think after 20 years, I'd be a bit more savvy, but when everybody was helping Brooke get the HOH for for virus, I should have clued in there that something was up and I didn't. Kind of like when you go to like White Castle and the food tastes funny and you're like, oh, whatever. And you eat it anyway and then you get food poisoning. Don't they have to include you if it's a group of two or more? If it's a group of three or more they have to include me but they did not have a group chat it was like they, um i from like within the, from within the game they never spoke to us they like did legitimately and like, i do they, and they did they did send the screenshots to me nicole so i believe them that it was legit i know i know i thought the same thing that they they basically just like 
iced us out. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. I will have to tighten my rules next year because I don't want to do one-on-one chats and because there's like a hundred something one-on-one chats if I do that. I don't want to be in all of them, but I'll just tighten the rules to say, if you are in an alliance, it must have a group chat. <laughs> Even if it is a two or three person alliance. Brilliant. Um, Good for them. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I wouldn't be surprised. Like, I believe, like, I immediately believe that, because, especially because what happened last year to Brooks Alliance, like Brooks started the Savers. And then with what happened, I'm not surprised. I'm going to go like, hey, refill not, my class. Because, you know, as soon as that happened to her, like, I was on it, right? <laughs> and then also Michael basically had, or sorry, Hearn had nothing to lose and basically spilled everything to me. So I think I would not be surprised if Brooke learned from this. Brooke has done a pretty good job at like, you know, learning from last year, um, you know, from her mistakes uh, or even not mistakes, but, um, you know, just trying to improve on her game. Um, you know, she won two HOHs um, and, you know, even though it was due to an alliance, I mean, it was due to an alliance that she was a part of. Um, and so, you know, good on, good on Brooke. Um, I actually wanted to know, uh, you know, it sounds like maybe from your perspective, Ryan, even though you're rooting for Brooke, there might be Brooke or maybe a couple other players might have a little less win equity compared to like Owen and Michael. So is there any, is there enough room in the game at this point for players who might be a little bit behind to catch up or is no, no um like um if i can be honest like yeah like there like could be but you would have to take out michael and owen in the next two rounds and like my opinion on owen i i think is not going to win out at the end of the day because like even like there's like owen just has to explain stuff to me honestly because i like him a lot like personally (laughs) um so like that there's in this game specifically it's like 88 plus days again i got i'm sorry if i got it wrong but like and in like an orgs that i'm used to like we usually go on for maybe 40 days plus um there's a lot of bonding that happens but a lot of fast maneuvering still needs to happen at some point and like someone really killing the end game can like really benefit more. Um, I think with this game, it was such a long-term slog. Um, and I think some people put in more work than others did. Mm-hmm. Um, even with me and Michael never being on the same page from the get-go of me being nominated, from my understanding he was after me, he still sent me a message every single day. Literally, sometimes at 2 a.m my time I'd be get a message from him, but I still got a message from him and then Owen always kept up with me even when he knew I voted him out he still made me feel like he, maybe he didn't know yeah I and think I part like- of I think part of why Five Alive was so effective was they were all social players and they were all active all the time uh which is mm-hmm. how that alliance was able to function because they were constantly sh- talking to each other um but what I was going to say before and I kind of got sidetracked was at about two or three weeks ago, I said on Wednesday's episode, the number of active alliance chats is two. And you were the only person who was in both of them. You were in uh, the Pretty Little Bitches with Kennedy and Bridget. And you were in the party planning committee, which even though they weren't loyal to it, you were in that for a long time. You were in that with everybody but Jenna, right? Brooke, Owen, Michael? Oh, yeah. It was like, uh, it was a full on. Javi wasn't in it, right. um, but like, I think that's why I lasted longer <laughs> than other people did, because I at least had like that connection. I also wasn't really talking, so I think that also I was threatening. Okay. There's something I'm dying to know, um, because is that okay, Andrew? Yeah, yeah. of course. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm drunk, so ask me anything. Like, yeah, like just, you know, I haven't been keeping track in the last few weeks of being but it, I feel like it, nothing's changed which is that it feels like it might be Michael's game to lose at this point um but it sounds like if, if everyone's talking about Michael every week okay it might not be Andrew's um, perspective is that it might be not but let's lots of- like let's say um someone like um 
like my bestie is Bridget so like let's get into it like I feel like Bridget and I have like opposite opinions right now mm-hmm. but um I just like I feel like as a whole though mm-hmm. of course my goal is in like the better place to win I think he was socially yeah. better um like I think Owen was great with me but like I think that will always um hinder like <laughs> the people that he probably maybe could have kept around to make sure he was in a more solid position moving forward. Um, yeah, like what he I was also know... putting in, sorry. Oh, it's okay. Well, I wanted to know from you, Ryan, because I, your experience, like you're a veteran in orgs, right? And so, and Michael's actually also a very experienced player. And so yes. I wanted to know what, what did he do right? Was it that he was more experienced that, that he was what he did right? Or is that he was active that, that was I, I think brain. activity is so key. Well, let's let's get like from going to the crutch of my game actually. Yeah. Um I am such like a social player usually, but I'm also like a very active player. Like I'm usually um I play um voice chat games mostly. So I'm usually always on call with everyone. Or even if I'm not in like the main alliance, people feel like they can pick me up or the people can feel like I can like talk to them because at least I'm like talking to them they're active I think someone who is more active obviously you're, you're going to trust someone more mm-hmm. when you're talking to them every single day if you get it you get the good morning text he, he messaged me good morning it made me feel like you know like I feel better about Michael than I do this person sorry um I'm drinking so like I'm like I'll try to process what I'm thinking it's okay. um, oh go ahead yeah, please say what you're oh, going to say. Yeah, and- so I just wanted to get quickly to uh, the draft. So Team Krizil loses another member uh, in Rayanne. And so Team Krizil is down to Michael and Javier, which was actually... Oh, love that. Which was actually the sixth and the eighth choice. And Curtis was the one doing this. Um, he was at Costco at the time. And Team Nicole uh, has Jenna, Owen, and Brooke, who were the first, second, and fourth choices that she had. So Nicole's definitely in a good position to win. Um, for the and first Mike, time ever. <laughs> yes, for the first time nice. ever. Brazil won last season uh, with Steven. And so my question to you, Rayanne, is who do you think is going to win the game and who do you want to see win the game? <laughs> I mean, if people are really feeling like Owen um, is really going to be held back, then I think Owen's going to win the game. Um I would like Javi to win or Brooke. <laughs> I think those are like the people that I, I feel like are were more of like an emotional center for me because Javi was just like funny with me. And then Brooke is like more so, I feel like the reason why I was successful since she's what brought me to Owen. Yeah, so um, I, and Owen was that power player. So those are like my emotional picks and who I would like to vote for. Um, who I, like, I feel like I'm probably going to have to vote for Michael and, like, Owen begrudgingly. Well, well said. Uh, I, oh, Ran, I, like, I loved hosting you. Um, you oh, you're an angel. Aww. Um, you finished in sixth, which is very, very good. Sixth out of 16. I'm, like, really <laughs> proud of it for, like, especially, <laughs> like, I was pretty, this is a very different game from what I usually play. Yeah. And I hope that even though it was a different game, I hope you had fun. I hope. Oh, it was so much fun. My only regret is I wish I played more vetoes. Yeah, you were the person. <laughs> you, were, you were Nicole. Nicole was that person in All Stars. Hearn was that person in season six. You played in what, like, one or two? I got, I, I, at least I got a guest sprinkles. This is how I feel. Like I had that opportunity of guessing what's in a cup. Because, <laughs> like, I don't know. I really enjoyed. Um, the theming of it all that like everything was like all chocolatey and like i i enjoy that the showmanship so uh, i wish i gotta play more did, did you you've never have you ever you're such a good player and i hope nobody watches this when you're playing a future game and then targets you because of it, but have you have you ever been an early boot i've never yeah. seen... babes what? i i played double cross with you i was literally like no but you crazy. were you were the last vote before merge. Um, early good. I'm talking like first, oh, second to go. Big brother. Oh no, never. There you go. Uh, so- <laughs> yeah. I uh, you're you're yeah. 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 And big brother. The only time I've gotten 
worse than sixth place, actually, is because someone paid $100 to get a Diamond Power Veto from another player so they could take me out. So, like, I'm pretty... <laughs> I'm usually I'm usually a pretty unstoppable force. Jeez, yeah, well, <laughs> money at you. Uh, so like kudos to everyone, I guess. Like I'm actually like I think it's a funny that I was the one who made it to the like out of everyone that I was the one who made it to the end of the people not in the five. I think that's just like kind of just like funny within itself like I enjoyed my time and I'm not bitter because I understand um I've been in that position so like I understand why people are doing what they're doing even though it might not feel smart from the outside I'm sure it feels good in their hearts in the inside (laughs) it's like sometimes that's what matters even though this one's for 700 or something dollars so like you know like (laughs) some works do you friendships at all? Because you don't. <laughs> I love do you have her. Any, yeah. Do you have any final thoughts? Um, I assume who is coming to me is coming to me. If not, then like I'll probably be really excited. So, but you call wait, her can Timmy? I, what? You said Timmy is coming to me. And no, I if I assume who's coming to me is coming to me, then like. Oh, okay. Like no bitterness. Is like to me. Oh, my bad. If people are like against Jenna, then like Jenna's gonna lose a tie break. Um, but if I think that like the four who I think is four strong, then I think Javi is coming to me. Um, and that's I guess that's a wishy washy answer, but like that's just I assume Javi is coming to me. Okay. Yay. Uh, with that said, Javier or Jenna, who will be evicted and become the fifth member of the jury joining Callum, Bridget, Kennedy, and Rayanne. Find out tomorrow and who will rise to power and become the new head of household, securing their self a spot in the final three. I'm Andrew Chester Moonves. Take care and remember, if the diameter of your nipple is greater than that of a Reese's peanut butter cup, yes, you should put a shirt on. Good night. <laughs>